that I first received the report from. <clears throat> Back when ISIS, ISIS was on the scene in, in great visibility. You would see them riding down the roads across the ocean in their lands where they were trying to terrorize. They would ride down the road with new, brand new Toyota pickups with machine guns mounted in the back of them. And me talking to a man who was driving trucks in those days, and he said there would be people from those places coming across American soil in their trucks with Toyotas, brand new ones on the back of them, going to the southern border, and someone would come pick them up, carrying them overseas. Who would let such a thing roll through this country? Look who was president at the time, and you will know. Folks, you're dealing with an awful, sinister lie. So how deep does that lie go? As deep as it takes, belched out of the belly of hell itself. Yes, I will, Lord. The Lord has said this to me. He said, you politicians that knew you could have stopped this. Now, would you listen close to what I'm going to say? The Lord said, it's one thing when you were lying and moving things around for your own gain, for political power, vying for positions to get elected so that you didn't get thrown out on your fat rear ends where you had to work somewhere and you would just do whatever it took to stay in power. The Lord said that was one thing. But it's another thing when you decided to seek the occult and when you decided to seek false gods and join yourself to paganism and gods false gods to bring about the demise of my people in the dark realms and bring it upon the earth that's another thing entirely and it did not go unnoticed by heaven it just did not where do you stand now I'm speaking to politicians and don't think they're not listening either where do you stand where do you stand? Are you going to die like that? Are you going to draw your last breath knowing that you betrayed the living God? Are you going to draw your last breath, you politicians around the world? Are you going to draw your last breath knowing you betrayed the God of heaven and earth? That you betrayed Him and you go down in history and you go down recording it against you in the annals of eternity that you were like Paul Potts, that you were like Joseph Stalling, that you murdered people, that you were like these dictators that just killed their own people. Are you willing to draw your last breath and bank and count on the fact that you don't believe there's an eternal punishment for that? Are you willing to die without Jesus? Do you believe in your lies and your paganism and your and you really look in the mirror and think you came here from some kind of explosion from a particle in time? And you can't even define where the time came from? Are you willing to die that way? There was a song that comes back to my mind. And it was a video that I had saw from a man of God. It was Carmen that put it out. And he put it out about a real man of God who really lived and still alive today, who faced a warlock. And he told that warlock, he said, when that warlock started bragging, I can make you rich. I can curse someone to death. I paid this, I was paid to curse this man with AIDS by his aunt that was in the song 
And he said, I could make you rich or even curse someone to death with my understanding of the dark realm. He said, what can your God do to compete with this? And the man of God sat there and all of a sudden a light went through his soul and he said this out loud. This was in the song now. He said, the real comparison is not God's power versus Satan's. It's not God's kingdom and Satan's lair. The real comparison is the condition of your soul and the condition of mine. He said, the day will come when you'll be lying in bed, wheezing like a dying animal. And in that moment, in that time, in that moment, who are you going to call when those spirits, those dark spirits that you worship, that you trusted in, came after your soul? Who are you going to call on that day? He said, I know who, what I would say. I am bought with the blood of Jesus. Let me go. So are you willing to die? You politicians, you act like you're going to live forever while you age in front of everybody's face. You really think that you've discovered something that you're going to escape judgment and eternity? That would have to be the biggest fool of all. To look at your hands and know that and think you wasn't made by some kind of intelligent design. And say God doesn't exist or rewrite him in your image so that you can keep plundering the people. Do you really think people don't know that there's no way you could be making these power moves unless you Republicans and you Democrats are not on the same page? There is no way anybody could be getting away with this unless everybody's in agreement. You're all the same stripes of the same horse. You're on the same back of the same zebra. That's who you are. There's only a handful of people that's left that really believe in what they're doing. I call on you handful. The Lord asked me this question to said to ask you this. All of you politicians in this country, now I, I can't speak for every country right now, but maybe I am. I'm speaking for some and to some. But as for this country right here, you act like there is no God. You, are, you have absolutely forsaken the God that created this nation. You act like he doesn't even exist anymore. You act like that it's all just a figment of somebody's imagination. You act like the Declaration of Independence don't mean squat. You act like it was just somebody who was just sitting around in a tavern drinking ale that decided to write something to deceive people with. You damned fools. You sit out there and you look at these things and you won't even stand up with any kind of backbone and stand for a nation that God gave you, prospered you, your children, your grandchildren, your, pros uh, your posterity to come, and you still act like there is no God. Well, the scripture says only a fool says in his heart there is no God. Hand me that Bible. The Word of God says it. What is the Word of God? This. This is the Word of God. No argument. End of argument. Right here is the Word of the living God. God in written form. Don't come at me with a bunch of trash. This is the written Word of God. This is God in written form. This is the Word. You got mad when Donald Trump stood up and said, we're going to go by this. That's what you got angry about. You bunch of occultists that's sucking off the teeth of Satan himself. You got mad at that. So you call us occultists? Why did you bring in the Arch of Baal to the, to the park right across from where Brett Kavanaugh was being, going, having to be put through that circus? 
Why did you bring the Arch of Baal out in Central Park when Hillary Clinton was running for president? Why did you bring the Arch of Baal to London and you, Boris Johnson? Why did you dedicate it? Why was there one dedicated in Italy? Why did you print 3D print a thousand of them? Arches of Baal? Baal? Why wasn't it any other statue? Why wasn't it anything else? Because I know who you are and you do too. But I'm talking to politicians that still have some kind of righteousness down in them somewhere. You act like there's no God. And you may meet him sooner than you've ever imagined. Because you're still just flesh and blood and bone. And you're susceptible. And when this devil's through with you, he'll wring you out like a wet wash rag and throw you over to the side. You want to know how close you are? I remember when I heard a conversation and I saw the men sitting there in a room and one had a balding head and a little bit of hair on the sides. And they said, what are we going to, who can we use now? Who can we use now? This was a while back. And one of them said, let's use Carrie. John Kerry, he's no good for nothing anymore. Let's throw him out there. It wasn't 21 days he was caught for talking the secrets of Israel to Iran. And that's what that leader looks like. And I heard the conversation. Now you think on these things. I heard the conversation of the ship stuck in the Suez. I heard what it was for. God is revealing the secrets discussed in bedchambers to his prophets, his servants, the prophets. Because this is the time of transition from Elijah to Elisha. And the, tra the prophecies of Elijah must come to pass as the prophecies of Elisha move forward. And we're in that time. And like it or not, you are too. You know, I'm making an appeal today and giving a warning at the same time. Did you know that Pharaoh was offered something that other leaders were not? We don't really have record that a lot was ever offered, I guess. I've only seen it in that one story so far. When the Lord told him, I will make your, I raised you up to make your name great. I've raised you up to do this and you he would have went down in history as the Pharaoh who delivered God's people but he wouldn't do it so he was slated to have a great famous name and it was going to come to pass whether it was for good or to go down in history as destruct destroyed he chose the latter and you know what happened this is where politicians are today this is where they are. You're in the time, soon the time of the lion will arrive. Soon the bear will go back into hibernation. But I'm going to tell you something. Oh, you who sits in the dark room and controls political entities, and you think you have all this power, God knows every thought you have. He knows every time you blow mucus from your nose. He knows every time you do all the things men do. This should be your reminder that you are a man. And you are the Prince of Tyrus. And you will be shown you are a man.
Welcome you into the 11th hour today. It's already been a heavy 11th hour. The anointing came in almost immediately when the music began. We're here at the fortress today proclaiming the word of God without compromise, saying everything we hear the Lord say. And today is a day of intercession. And I know there are intercessors all around the world that were praying with us today. I'm going to tell you something. Governments in this time we live in do not define the people that are living in the nations that are being governed. For now in this day and time, they've been hostily taken over in a lot of cases by wicked regimes, wicked people. I'm not just talking about people who just are self-serving and have their own agenda. I'm talking about people who are absolutely taken over with wickedness. And they have a sinister plan in mind. Hallelujah. And you might say, who? Who? Yes. Who? Yes. Hear with your prophetic hearing. Who is the connector of these of all of this? Yes. Who? Hallelujah. I'll be right back in just a moment.
Sau cơn mưa đêm em đã làm gì giờ Khó thuốc lăn lần đi giờ Anh chỉ muốn một đêm này không ngày ai yêu mất được gì Yeah, yeah, em muốn là quê và xa mơ Em đã cần đi nhưng mà ba mùi Anh không thể giữ em được bên mình Và bao nhiêu người xấu là người ghen tình Và nhiều người mấy em mà quên rồi Và là con má nằm bên tôi Giờ chỉ con má nằm bao nhiêu trôi Yeah, anh chẳng thể giữ được cho em nhiều điều còn cơn mưa kia đang nhật trôi và em xa rồi chỉ còn anh đêm nơi cái mây mờ thôi yeah. mắt anh đã mà đi mascara môi hồng như em grasada yeah. bạn em như có ak và hoa là ta 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 anh bay lên trên trời cao tôi ngăn đao Instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move so descriptive, like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious. You think you're with my time? You're delirious, mysterious because you hide behind a fake exterior. Inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I've got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million mind games, but instead I say Something not illogical, something that is topical 